session. Welcome back. Joining me now is Kelly McGowan, and you are from the University of Missouri Extension, and you're going to tell us about honeysuckles, yes. and there's two different kinds. Mm -hmm. One is an invasive honeysuckle and non-native. That is okay. correct. So we have a few honeysuckles here. We do. Uh -huh. And well, first, let's talk about how the invasive ones even got here. Well, um, non-native honeysuckles were introduced into the U.S. as a landscape plant. Uh, they escaped cultivation. Uh, they have a very aggressive growth habit, so it makes them invasive, and they choke out other native vegetation. Um, this is actually a good time of the year to scout your property and see if you have them. Uh, they're easy to identify because of the berries. Mm -hmm. um, so if you do find that you have them on your property, um, take action to um, get rid of it. So they're kind of like a weed. They're a weed in Hurt yes. your other... Okay, so let's talk about uh, the three that we have here. So we first one here has red berries. Yes, uh, these two right here are the invasive types of honeysuckle. This is called bush honeysuckle, and you can identify it with the red berries. This is Japanese honeysuckle, also an invasive, and it has dark purple to um, black berries. This right here is native honeysuckle, and one way that you can tell the difference is most of the native honeysuckles will have a pink to yellow flower, okay. kind of a purple reddish stem. Oh yes, I can note uh -huh. the stem. So right Right now, wow. uh, I don't know if the, would there be flower. Would it be flower? Some of them so. may still be in bloom. Uh, the invasive kinds will have a yellow to white flower and then just a, a woody or green stem. Okay, and how should people dispose of these or? or how can they get rid of them? Well, if you do find you have them on your property, if they're small plants, you can prune them out with hand pruners. Um, they do form dense thickets, so you may have to get in there with a chainsaw and cut them out. If you do, make sure you treat the stump so they don't re-sprout. The main thing is just get rid of the plants before they go to seed, which is this berry stage. Okay. Okay, well, that's great. How can people get more information about this if they want? Uh, they can call the Extension Office, 881-8909 or extension.missouri.edu. Okay. All right. Thanks, Kelly. All right, we'll thank be you. right back.